Welcome to the Work Study Plus Time Study Getting Started Software Overview. Today we're going to cover the basic functionality and give you an introduction to what the software capabilities are. So we're going to start by opening the software. We're going to click on the Work Study Plus icon. What you'll see on the left is a list of existing templates that have been previously set up. We're going to go into the checkout study and we'll use that as the example today. And we should note that um, while you can set the entire study up on the device and make changes when you're in the field and away from the computer, which is extremely useful, you do not have to do it that way. You can set the entire study up on the PC and then sync it out to the software, which is a preferred method for most people because you can work with a regular uh, keyboard, mouse, and screen. That said, we click on the study, and the bottom left you'll notice there's a couple buttons, and we're going to go under the one that says Elements. So if you're setting up a new study, which we're not here, um, you would click on Elements, and you'd be able to start out by adding elements to your study. We already have our elements added. Uh, we'll add one quick element here. Um, what most people like to do is put in some kind of miscellaneous elements so that uh, if something comes up during the study that's not on their main list, they can just select this and still accurately time everything, put in notes, and keep track of it later. So we'll close out of the setup, and we're going to go, and we've set it up here that you can put in a location and track location of the studies being done. You can put in comments at any point um, for the study or after the study if you'd like to have that tracked electronically. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom and we're going to jump into the actual time study experience and how that functions. So we hit do study in the bottom left. Now we will see on the left side of the screen that we have our elements set up. And this is an extremely flexible system. You can have as many elements as you need. You can change the size of the buttons. You can change the colors. So we've set this up here and we can start the study by scanning items. So that would be the first step. And we'll see in the bottom right that it has a visual feedback showing us the elapsed time, it gives us the observation is observation one, frequency, the cycle if you're going to track repetitive cycles, in this case you could um, track customers because we're doing a checkout, and then if you guys get into performance rating, anything you want to change the performance rating, you just click on the 100% and adjust it. So the functionality is really simple, you just tap on an element to, in this case I have a group, and I can pick what kind of payment say cash, to change from one activity to the next activity. So at the start of an element, you just tap, and it will stop the previous element and start timing the new element. So there's a few basic functions that I'd like to cover here that are really important. So you're doing a study at any point, um, if there's a delay, and we've set up a delay group here, you could go in and tap on delay, and whatever delays you set up, you could select. And once again, we have a miscellaneous there. If it's not in the list, you could select that. In this case, we could say system down. And we've set it up that we have this button here that says resume. So whenever there's an interruption to an activity, you just need to click this resume button. It's an action button. And it will perform the action of resuming the previous activity. So in this case, we click resume. And we can see in the log it displays here that this is resumed observation four, and then we're continuing on with scan items. And when we import the data later on, it's going to treat this as one occurrence and add these two times together. So a few other small things I'll point out before we uh, move on to the next part. One of them is that um, if you make a mistake, it's very easy to fix. So let's just say that we hit um, payment, and then we do say cash, but it was actually a mistake. Actually, we're going to do debit. So in this case, we'll just click on the blue text area in the log. So we'll click on where it says payment cash. And on the screen that's up now, we can just change it to, in this case, let's say we'll change it to credit. What's important here is that the accuracy is maintained because the time has not been affected, and we can continue on. We can go and finish this um, customer and um, load the bags and then go back to scan items when we start the next customer. So 
couple small things here that should be noted if you hit the done button in the bottom right it doesn't stop the timer so we'll go back in there and hit do study to do that and you can see here that the timer is still going which is good accuracy is maintained continue on in an example of where you should have hit stop or you make a mistake and you want to scratch something you'd want to do the following you'd want to hit stop and then you'd want to hit on the time where it has the time down in the bottom and a small menu is going to come up here and in this menu you could hit scratch entry what this does is it tells the software do not include this observation in any statistical reports you run any analysis so when we import this into Excel in a few minutes it's not going to be included so this is just a covering the basic functionality of the software to show you how easy it is to set up studies collect your data and the last thing we want to do on the device side before we go into the next phase is to transfer this data back. So if I go to the bottom and hit done, I have an option in the bottom right to hit more and I can choose to email this study to myself. I can hit send to and choose programs like Dropbox or um, Google Drive or any other cloud-based sync programs you'd like to transfer it that way. You also still have the option, if you don't want to use those, those ways of transferring data, to connect a USB cable and copy it over. So you have all that functionality um, built into the software to get your data back to your PC so that you can um, import and run reports. So now we're going to transition to Excel. And the Workstudy Plus software has always integrated with Excel to keep the process of learning the software simple as well as give you the power of Excel on the back end to do whatever you want with the data in addition to all the functions that we have built in. Now when I say built in there's an add-in called Workstudy and when you go under it you have different functionality. Now I won't go into everything in detail here. Most important ones we'll point out here is that you need to import study data to take a look at what we just collected. So I'll hit import study data it will give me a list of my studies which I've set it up to know where they are and I can hit add other to select a study from any location now I've already imported data so what I'm going to do is um, I'll import this is an example here we'll do the checkout study and we'll hit next and finish it's going to import it into the um, sheet here so we can see here that this is data that I had from before where um, we have a few more observations just so you can see how it looks in a bit more detail. So the next part of the software is a very powerful part. We've saved a ton of time importing and not having to do any manual entry is where we go under the work study menu and we select generate statistical report. So in here we can select which data set we want included when we run the report. So on the left here we see we have two um, studies imported. You can import as many studies as you want into an Excel workbook and combine them all together, which in this case, might as well combine it all together. And on the right hand side we can choose to run different reports. So I'm going to run one or two examples right now. And the first one we're going to run is the confidence analysis. And the confidence analysis is an excellent report to run if you're setting standards, or you're wanting to um, see what your current confidence is, you can see your um, confidence level on the device. We did not go over that. There's a statistical section that shows that, so you can also get that without having to import. But we can see um, estimated sample size here, and there's obviously not enough observations to, to give you a confidence um, on this one um, element here. This can be adjusted as well. So continuing on, we will run one or two more to give you an idea of the level of reports you can get out of the box. So the next one I'm going to run is the pie chart. This is an extremely useful report if you need to quickly show your results to people so we can see here statistically where the time we collected our study was spent. And we can see that load bags is the highest by a large margin. In addition to pie chart we can also run a similar report which is the lean analysis so we'll go in here and we're going to do the lean analysis
and this gives us another chart here that shows us that 80% productive and we can see here under our delay elements that were set up as non-value added when we created the study where the actual delay time is spent in more detail. We'll run one more report here and I'll run the, um, the Pareto chart. There are a handful of additional reports that you can run that will give you lots of great detail um, for other types of studies. What is suggested is that um, when you install the software for your initial testing and you um, look at all the reports in detail, um, custom reports can be created based on the reports that we have in the software or you can outsource customization to us if it goes beyond um, something that you would be comfortable doing yourself. Always the raw data itself can be exported as a CSV file imported into other statistical packages or you can create your own um, reports if you um, have that level of uh, requirement or feel that you want to do that. Most clients are able to get everything they need out of our standard reports and eliminate the need to do any additional reporting. So the last thing we wanted to cover today was setting up a study on the actual PC itself. So it's very, very easy to create your study template in our Excel system here. So if I go to um, the menu here and I add an element sheet, it adds a blank template and we could put a study name in, we could add our elements here and we could open up the element editor which is under the menu here, and edit the study. I'm going to jump over to a study that I previously um, set up. And we can see here that it's got the sheet filled out. And I'm going to open the element editor and just show you the functionality here that you have built into the Excel add-in. So we have our elements listed here. And it's very easy for us to go in, make changes to colors, the fonts, um, add elements, rename elements. Once you've made the appropriate changes and you're happy with your setup, you hit apply. It saves the changes. And the last little part here we should point out is how easy it is to transfer a study template from um, Excel to the device. So if we go back to the menu here, we would choose the export study configuration option. And when we do that, it asks us to check which study we want to export, custom fields, which were the additional information, store, and the comments, and notes, and other things that we could enter in our setup as well. And then we say OK. And at this point, we just save the file. And now you can email it to yourself. You could copy it over using a USB cable. You could sync it through Dropbox, which is what I did today. Um, so this covers the basic functionality of the Workspace software. Um, best thing to do would be to contact your QTech representative if you want to um, install the software and test it out for a 30-day free trial. And then you can see the software in action and get a feel for how it works on your end. So thank you for taking the time to look at the Workstudy software. And we'd be glad to help out if you have additional questions and any other um, information you need to get up and running with the software.